I am not a professional PvP player. I picked up a few tricks after a few thousand hours of play. I hope it will help some beginners or maybe someone who wants to switch to Deadeye. So let's get started. Many new players do not know how to use the retreat. There are many benefits when you use it. I think the biggest benefit is that you can easily escape or reset the fight. In addition, it removes all the buffs except root and put poison on the enemy, but mostly against melee players, you benefit from poison. Science the radius is very small, to be more precise, the radius is 180. In Guild Wars 2, the measurement is in inches. The biggest disadvantage of that retreat is that it costs a lot of initiative, especially in PvP. In PvP it costs 6 initiative and in PV it costs only 4 initiative. And in total you have only 15 initiative with trigger specialization. So you can use that retreat 2 times in a row. That's enough for the successful retreat. So how to successfully use that retreat? Open options and go to control. Find where it says about face. About face means that on command your character will turn 180 degrees. Find a keybind on the keyboard that is easy for you to press. In my case the keybind is middle mouse. You simply click and you are turned 180 degrees. A very important keybind if you don't have a target. But if you have a target, just take into account what is behind your back. You will always teleport it away from the target. It can also be used to navigate PvP maps. You can climb where most other professions cannot. In this example you can see how easily you can climb somewhere where most other professions cannot. I use the utility skill roll for initiative. In addition to stun break and evade it also gives for initiative. After two dead retreats use roll for initiative if needed for additional dead retreat. In this example you can see how to connect all skills and utility skills. First turn 180 degrees, dead retreat two times, roll for initiative, dead retreat again, withdraw and shadow step. After that, dead retreat again two times. You are far from everyone. Even a dead devil or will bender can't catch you. Besides all that, you have unlimited stealth. If you notice, when you mouse over the skill dead retreat, skill number 4, you see that there are 3 tooltips. So how to use third? Very easy. When you use skill kneel on rifle, skill number 5. In my case, keybind is cool. A new set of skills opens up. Skill on 4 now is sniper cover. You need to put sniper cover on the ground and stand on it. Now skill 4 or sniper cover, because you kneel and stand on it, it's not sniper cover anymore. Now it's dead advance. You will see where are your buffs and the buffs, you have a new icon, it's called dead advance. When you see that icon, dead advance, press 4 again, you will be teleported forward in stealth. Repeat the process as many times as you want. If you run out of initiative quickly. You can connect with dodge, but it's a very cheap skill. It takes some practice and you are teleported in the direction you are looking. You can use it even when you are not using the kneel, but it's not practical. You should kneel, sniper cover, then stand up, then dead retreat. So it's not practical at all, in some cases only. Sniper cover is combo field smoke and dead retreat is combo finisher leaf. It doesn't matter what profession you are, if you have combo finisher leap and use it in combo field smoke, you get stealth. Bonus tip, if you want to teleport quickly just straight, mouse over any skill in your action bar. Just press 4, 4, 4, 4 until you run out of initiative. It has a couple of flops in PvP. If you want to use it in PvP, you have turned off the auto attack. When you mouse over skill on number 1, Brutal Aim, it has a yellow or gold frame around it. You must turn it off. Hold control on the keyboard and click with the right mouse button. Sometimes you just get a reveal debuff. 
and you can't enter stealth again for three seconds, even though you didn't use any offensive skills from stealth. And it's good that you have it turned off because of that judgment. The game detects that you have used a sneak attack. You get revealed buff. It often happens because of lag on server or because of internet in general. I do not know exactly. If someone knows or has experience differently, write it in the comments. Another disadvantage is that players can see where you put sniper cover and locate you easily. But you can always add a stealth skill to utility skills if that's important to you and connect it with that advance. I hope this helps you. If I forgot something, write it in the comments. A lot of new players in the game ask for those details. Subscribe if you like this type of content and thanks for watching.